Hi there, everyone. <clears throat> We're going to uh, decode a Lockwood dial and key combination lock. Now, before I go any further, you've, uh, you can find this on YouTube and find the instructions anywhere on the internet. There's a, a thousand of them out there, but they all but what I found anyway, they all relate to the master combination lock. So, uh, and they have a method for decoding the master. Well, I wanted to see if that related to, I guess, any of this form of, of lock. Uh, and I didn't see anything on there about Lockwood or uh, any other brands. So, uh, I assumed that that method applied to any of these dial combination locks so I tried it on this Lockwood now like I said you've seen this a thousand times on YouTube so if you don't want to see it again uh, I suggest you stop watching the video now I guess and go on to whatever it is you were doing before okay okay for those that are still there um, this is a Lockwood dial combination and key lock. It's made of stainless steel. It's written up there stainless steel, if I can get that in shot. Stainless steel. There are a series of numbers and letters in the center here that I'm led to believe is the code for the uh, professional locksmith to decipher the code and uh, I've had no joy in trying to <laughs> get information on that for obvious reasons I guess uh, down at the bottom here it's a Lockwood 141-50 141-50 Okay, so all right, the first thing we do is zero it out, get it on zero. Now this lock, master locks must be easy to pull the shackle up, but this has got a fair bit of spring tension behind it, so it takes a bit of pulling up. You pull the shackle out and rotate the dial until it locks. Well, it's already locked there on zero, so we take the zero and we write it down. We release the shackle a little bit, just enough to ride over that cut out on the disc to get that dial to rotate. Once it starts, pull the shackle tight again and turn the dial until it locks on another number. That one happens to be 35, 36 and a half. Release the shackle again to get it to override that cut out on the disc. Pull the shackle again and rotate the dial until it locks again. And that's another number. And we keep doing that all the way, all the way around. We'll finish up with 12 numbers. Got that in shot. Finish that up, finish up with 12 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that was the zero we first started with. Now in those 12 numbers there will be 7 decimal numbers and 5 whole numbers. Right? in amongst that lot. So those five whole numbers we pull out of the list. 0, 33, 30, 20 and 10 in this case. That happens to be how they worked out. All the numbers will have the last digit the same. In this case it's all zeros. So four numbers will have the same last digit. In this case, they're all zeros. The odd number, you pull that one out, and that number will be the last number in our combination. So we pull that number out and write that down. That's our last number. Okay. The odd number will be the last number of our three number combination. So write that down, 33, in this case, 33. Drop that down somewhere and uh, move on to the next step. Now with that that 33 
we divide that by 4 uh, and it gives us again in this case 8.1 we're not interested in the 8 we're interested in the remainder in this case 1 remainder to that remainder 1 we add 4 so here's our 1 we transfer it over here add 4 to it it's 5 we transfer the 5 over here add 4 to that is 9 transfer that across 9 and add 4 is 13 13 and add 4 is 17 and so on and so forth <clears throat> we'll end up with 10 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we'll end up with 10 numbers one of those numbers will be the first number of our combination <clears throat> but we have to find out which one it is now we come to the tricky bit because now we come to the code which is used the code that uh, if the remainder is a 0 or a 1 we have to add 2 if the remainder is a 2 or a 3 and it can only be one of those four numbers we subtract 2 thus 0 add 2 1 add 2 2 minus 2 3 minus 2 or subtract 2 that's that's the key to the whole business <coughs> so our remainder was 1 so we add 2 to our first column of numbers and there's our first column of numbers that we got after we added the 4 to the original number 5 9 13 17 21 25 etc etc here it is 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, etc, etc. Now, as I said, <clears throat> because our remainder was 1, we refer to our code, a 1, so we have to add 2 to it. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 5 plus 2 is 7, 9 plus 2 is 11, 13 plus 2 is 15, etc, etc, etc. Again, we'll finish up with 10 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Obviously, we stop it. We stop before the zero, the forty, if you like, <clears throat> because that's all the combinations, all the numbers on the dial. Uh, ten numbers. One of these will be the second number of our combination, and we have to find out which one of those is our second number. So then we write the both column of numbers down that's our first column of numbers we got after adding four that's the second lot of numbers we got adding the two and uh, now we've got a cross reference the first number in our first column with the with each number in the second column example the one three and then we do 33 because that's remember was our third number that we wrote down earlier so one th we dial one three thirty three if that doesn't work we go to one seven thirty three if that doesn't work <clears throat> we go one eleven thirty three and so on using the one we work through each of those numbers adding thirty three to the end for our three digit combination if none of those open it we go to the next number, 5, 3, 33, 5, 7, 33, 9, sorry, 5, 11, 33, 5, 15, 33, and again, we work on the 5 and go through all these numbers, adding 33 <clears throat> at the end of each one. If that doesn't work, we move on to the 9 and do the same again, adding 33. We do that through as many as it takes until you find the first number, the second number, and the third number, which finally opens the lock. So that's that's how it's done. So in this case, my combination, and also. Uh, yeah, see, I, I probably cheated because I actually picked the lock, looked in there, 
rotated until I could find that disc, the cutout in the disc, come up in line. That's rotating it clockwise. Then I think I rotated it anti-clockwise until the second number came through and I could see the two disc cutouts lined up. I actually can't remember if I kept going clock. Yeah, I must have gone anti-clockwise. <clears throat> um, so that's how I, and I had to rotate this dial a complete turn. So I knew from that that whatever combination came up, that second number, I would have to rotate the dial a complete number. So if it was, say, 25, I'd have to rotate that uh, around past the 25 and stop the second time around on 25. So the disc, the dial has to go a complete turn and then keep going till you get the number that uh, opened the lock for the second number. So I mean you can't go, if the first number is 20, <coughs> you can't go 20, 25 and whatever the other number is, it, it won't work. You've got to go 20, take it right around, if the second number is 25, right around to the 25, but go past that and stop when it comes around for the second time. That Then it'll be, the disc will be in the gate ready to open it when you finally dial the third number. So in our case, our combination is 37, 27, 33. So we neutralise the lock at all the discs, stop on zero, uh, 37 is the first one, so we rotate to 37. Second number is 27, so we come back to 27, but we keep going until the 27 comes around for the second time, and then we stop. The last number was 33, so then we take it back to 33, and bingo, it's open. So, uh, there you go. So, I have found that uh, even though I couldn't find any information about Lockwood combination locks, that that, <clears throat> that method of working out your combination, I guess, will work on any combination lock of this nature. So it appears. So, to my knowledge, uh, this will be the first video on YouTube discussing decoding of a Lockwood um, combination lock. But most of the masters I saw weren't key either. They were just combination. And it's also got a scramble feature. Apparently some, if you leave that on the last number, which was 33, and lock it, if you don't spin that dial, you can unlock it again. Well, this one you can't. It's got a scramble feature in here. Once you lock it, it scrambles the discs. So you can't. You have to actually redial the combination to get it open again. Okay. That's that. Thanks for watching that. Uru.